no one knows the day. All the Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Yeah. Sunday morning, and um, I really, really hate to report this story because it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's just sad. However way you want to slice it up, um, it's um it seems like a retaliation situation, I'm not sure. But Yo Gotti's brother Big Juk was shot and killed after the funeral services for his uncle. You know, a lot of people think that Big Juk had um you know is is responsible or put up the bag for <laughs> young Dolph's murder. And this is what we got in this community. Now, I'm just saying allegedly because I really don't know. But I do know that his brother, Anthony Mims, Big Juke, was shot and killed this um, Saturday, I believe. Sources with direct knowledge tell us that the rapper's old sibling, older sibling was gunned down in Memphis on near Winchester Road. This murder took place after he'd attended the funeral of another one, his uncle. There are photos and videos circulating online that purportedly show Juke bleeding on the ground with people attending to him. The exact details of the shooting, though, are not clear at this point. But um, Juke is confirmed dead. Big Juke was incredibly close to his famous brother. He appeared to officially be affiliated with Gotti's label Collective Music Group, promoting artists under the imprint and wearing the music, you know, appearing in the videos as well for them. Juke seemed to be more so on the business side. It's sad that he happened to be killed during the time of mourning. Now, this... You know, that's why I said, and if, if I'm gonna take some flack for this, but as much as we kill each other, why don't we just stop having funerals? I mean, because this is insane. If if you already put a bunch of flowers and uh, graveyards around trees and pictures and shit on the streets, so why just do this? Why don't just your last memory of the person be it? If that's what it is, that's what it is. Because now you might attend his funeral and get gunned down. See, it's a um, never-ending cycle of retaliation. And, and unfortunately, um, it'll probably be some more, right? You know, it, it, it never ends. It never ends. Unclear if Gotti himself was with Juke during the killing. He hasn't addressed his brother's murder just yet. Another intimate to this is the possibility that it might be related to the murder of young Dolph in 2021. At least that's what the speculation is online anyway. As we reported, cops rushed to Gotti's Memphis restaurant shortly after young rapper was shot down himself outside of a cookie store. This out of fear of possible retaliation. It's no secret that Dolph and Gotti had beef. And now, many suspect that this might be connected. Also worth noting that the location of Juke's murder is not far from Gotti's establishment. In fact, it's on the same block. 
This is also not very far from where Dur Dolph's murder took place. So, you know, this is a mess. My heart goes out to the family. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard when you um, lose somebody abruptly like this. I understand. Y'all know I just lost my brother almost two years ago next month um, by violence. And it's really a hard thing, you know. And I'm sure a lot of y'all out there experience the same thing. It's nothing easy. But you got to deal with it. And um, sometimes it's best to filter stuff than to act out. You have to filter. It's like a coffee pot. You got to let it filter. Because usually when it get to the end of the um, water in the pot, usually you'll have a not a not a better, but a different perspective. And I hope for all of y'all that are in the mindset of retaliation mode or whatever, it don't change nothing. And I hope you don't carry it out. And I'm not saying that this is what that is, but knowing Memphis and knowing, you know, when you got money and all this kind of, listen, God bless the family. My heart go out to you. R.I.P. Big Juke.